in today's video we are back with a top 10 list and today we're going to be doing wide receivers this list has been severely updated since the last one we have a lot of new cards even cards that are coming out today as well will be on this list i'm excited let's get right into it if you want to get Madden coins without a risk of a ban, go to my new website, Chuflaka.com, to buy Madden packs and gift cards for the same prices in the Madden store to directly support the channel. To start off at our number 10 spot, we do have Nelson Aguilar, and he is a brand new card that came out with the Campus Heroes right here. I think our number 10 was between him and Derek Mason. Although Derek Mason is much shorter, he does have Slotomatic on him. So it almost made me kind of go towards him, but I still do like Nelson Aguilar just a tiny bit more. When you guys look at him, his stats are actually really solid, 87, 85 and an 84 there for his catching stats and then he comes with uh, a nice ability built in matchup nightmare i haven't really used it too much this year but the past two years it's been pretty solid because obviously it works when it when you, it says it works against linebackers but that still works against sub linebackers well so it could be those safeties in the middle as well this is a really solid card you're seeing them a lot out there as well because the raiders theme team is super meta i would say the patriots is one of the better theme teams in the game right now as well definitely a card you're seeing a lot out of right now in the head to head streets i i think he's solid 86 feet, six foot, nothing crazy. I do think this list is very, very top heavy. At, I would say once we get from like to eight on, that's when it starts getting a lot better at the wide receiver spot. So at number nine, we have Tyquan Thorne. And Tyquan Thorne is a card that I use for the first two weeks, like religiously. Like he was on my field every single play. I love this card. I really did. I had him when he was still number 51. If you guys remember, he, they had his number as 51 for his practice jersey in like the first three days of my, he was a really good card. Everybody had him in the rookie mirrors. This doesn't mean he's still bad. This just, just shows you how good this card truly was when he first came out. He's an 86 speed, six foot two player. So obviously getting plus two uh, height on him from Nelson Aguilar. And when you look at him, he actually has good stats across the board. 88 catching, and then he has an 84 uh, catching traffic and an 85 spec catch. And then the route running solid as well with an 87 short, 84 medium, and 83 deep. Like I said, most people, you could you even got a free one from the first competitive pass. Obviously, a lot of people had Taekwon Thor. I, I saw this card so, so much out there. He's definitely still top 10. But like I said, once we get to that number eight spot, I feel like they're kind of miles ahead right now. So at number eight, we do have the free CD Lamb, and everybody gets CD Lamb for free. Every single person watching this video got him for free. Yeah, even with the comp pass glitch rewards, you could still get enough XP without doing the competitive pass to get this card. So CD Lamb, a lot of you guys should have him by now he is a very good card definitely top 10 in the game he is six foot two 86 feet so we're kind of stuck on that 86 speed for those first three guys we've shown you so far on the list but when you look at him across the board statistically 85 plus in every single stats a lot of really good 80 overall stats right there i did love to see i don't know what it was with cd though he just felt amazing out there he recently just got replaced on my team about a week ago and this is a guy that i like I said, carried me through a lot of plays, a lot of touchdowns. I did end up quick selling him. I know I'm a fraud for that. I probably should have kept it. I don't know why, but yeah, CD Land, this card was definitely brought a lot of good, a lot of good plays to the team right here. I know a lot of you guys have him as well and can agree on that. At number seven, we have Tyree Kill, and Tyree Kill is an absolute killer in the first month of Madden. Always one of the better core elites. He's always high overall because he's one of the best wide receivers in real life. Five foot nine, though, is always going to be a negative. At first, he's by far the fastest, right? He was the number one speeded wide receiver in the day one of Madden, and that was probably for a good week. He had that kind of kind of crown right there. If you if you, I, I'm trying to think who was the first one. Who was the first one to dethrone? It was, it was Randy Moss, and they, he came out at the same speed as him, I remember. But 87 speed is still very good to this day. You could throw that out there and have a lot of success, even with this Tyreek. He's not really the best when it comes to his catching stats at 82, 78, and 83, which is definitely not that good. But when you come to his route running, 85, 85, and then the deep at 88. Tyreek Hill is one that feels amazing after the catch as well. And you guys also know how small guys always seem to suck on the sidelines. I don't know what it is with Tyreek Hill, but... I swear he plays so much better than the average smaller wide receiver in the game. I love Tyree Kill. Definitely a card that is still very usable right now. I think the next two guys, though, right above him are smaller guys as well who are probably just better than Tyree Kill right now. Just simply, honestly, let's get right into those guys. Number six, we do have Brandon Cooks, and Brandon Cooks is always a great card in Madden. He's always fast, fast, fast. He's basically another Tyree Kill. So he's one inch taller than Tyreek. He has the same exact speed as Tyreek Hill right here. You're probably wondering why I have him above. When you look at the catching, 
much better, right, boys? Much, much better. He has no 70s like Tyreek has right there. And he also is all 85 plus. His route running is amazing all across the board as well with an 84 short, 87 medium, and an 86 deep route running. He also does come with deep and elite built in. I don't think he gets it for cheaper. I think that's the normal cost right there. It just comes built in, I guess. But Brandon Cooks, a guard that always plays good in Madden as well. Another shorter guy, you're not going to get a lot of bailout like mosses like you'll get with Randy Moss or even a couple other guys in this list later down the line, but still a really good card you can get. Also, you can get this card for free from House Rules, Challenges. I, lo I love, love, love how you can, uh, how ex accessible these 87 Camus Hero cards are. Number five, we have Cavante Turpin. And this is a little blurry because we just grabbed it off their stream. This just got showed literally t not even like 15 minutes ago. I'm recording this right after the team of the week. I wanted to wait to see if they had any wide receivers. And boom, Cavante Turpin. It's kind of hurting my eyes because it's really blurry from the stream. But you guys could see 88 speed on him, 87 jumping. His stats across the board are amazing. 89 catching, 86 catching traffic. Not really much of a sweat catcher, 83 for his overall. But he does have great short out running at 90 as well. 87 medium, 86 deep. And something that is insane on this card as well, he gets one AP short and elite. If you guys do not know, that ability is kind of the meta right now. It is also kind of known as the baby route tech. And also, if you take a look, Cavante Turpin. I think is very, very, uh, I'm trying to look, there it is, height. He is very, very short at five foot seven, boys. He is five foot seven on the board. That is the negative, right? He'd be much higher because he has one of the best abilities for cheap. He is a good card. He's probably going to be very shifty out there, but he is five foot seven. It's going to be rough out there, but that's why he's so low on the list. He should, his stats, you would think he'd be higher. He's very, very fast. Really good ability for cheap. But five foot seven is five foot seven. There's no way around that. But right, number four, we do have Randy Moss in his card art. I was about to say it was taking forever. It didn't want to show, but Randy Moss is here. Six foot four, obviously an animal. He is an animal. He is 87 speed, though. I think we're starting to hit that 88, 89 speed kind of ranges for a lot of these wide receivers. As you just saw, Cavante Turpin right there is an 88. Randy Moss is six foot four, though. I've seen a lot of people, even like really good players, start to move on from Randy Moss. I still have not moved on yet. I absolutely love him i think he is an animal i have noticed a lot of like a, he hasn't really had the craziest separation for me on a lot of routes I, i'm really close on moving him to like three i feel like two through four are very interchangeable so randy moss could easily be number two three or four i, I those three right there are very interchangeable almost basically tied for me but Randy Moss right here, 90 sweat catch, 90 deep route running are the biggest things you're seeing right there. A lot of really good stats across the board. The six foot four is the biggest thing carrying him higher. I wish he was 88 C because I feel like 87 is going to get blown by so fast now. We're about to start getting 89 and 90s here soon. It's good. Like I said, he's really good right now, but I feel like this car that will kind of get kicked in gear a little bit here soon. So at number three, we do have Jay Jettas, Justin Jefferson right here, six foot one, 88 speed on him. Him and the next card, if you guys do not know, are the exact same card. Once we get to him, I'll show you guys. You'll see 88 speed and then across the board, all high 80s right there, all 87 pluses. His catching stats are amazing. His uh, route running stats are all amazing. No 90s there, which would have been awesome to hit a threshold to help a lot of that cutting with the route running. He still plays amazing though. He's on my team right now. I love Justin. Jefferson I love him as a player in real life and it's cool to see him finally get a super super meta card in the game he's probably gonna be on my team for a little bit until he starts getting outdated but for right now he's definitely a top three wide receiver in the game and everybody should know this card is amazing the gameplay I did on him was super fun as well I love this card. He's definitely a staple in the team right now. And at number two, we have Andre Reed. And when I told you guys these are the exact same card, I did not lie to you. They're 88 speed, both of them. And when you look across the board, they're all 87 plus in most stats. He actually has a lot more higher 88s. Obviously, it's a plus one, so it's not the biggest deal in the world. But the thing why I'm putting him over Justin Jefferson is... He is just one inch taller. He's literally just one inch taller. They're all very good in the game. You need multiple wide receivers in the game anyway, so it doesn't hurt to have Andre Reid, Justin Jefferson. And like I said, Randy Moss is very interchangeable for th with these guys as well for me on this list. But Andre Reid is one that I know he's a lot more expensive. I know he doesn't have the gritty. I know that's kind of cringe, but Andre Reid, though, I'm definitely still taking regardless over him. He's definitely better wide receiver in the game. And at number one, I think every single person watching this video knew this card was going to be our number one. Michael Crabtree right here, 89 speed, which is the highest in the game. There's only two other 89 speed players in the game, which is a tight end in Dave Casper, which not many people have. I did do a gameplay on him last night. If you guys want to go check that out on the channel. And then who else is there? I can't think of his name on defense. 
the guy, Tariq Woolen, who I actually grinded for and have not gotten yet, but Tariq Woolen is the other 89 in the game. So Michael Crabtree is light years above every wide receiver being plus one speed. Plus one speed is a big deal this early on. It really is. And he also, when you look across, he has 390 overall stats, 390 thresholded stats right there, 90 catch and traffic, 91 spec catch, and a 90 shore route running. So basically, when you look at him versus Cavante, he's faster than Cavante. A brand new wide receiver that came out today that's the same overall. Faster, he's taller, has the same kind of stats across the board. I love Michael Crabtree. He comes, he has slot of Matic. He has slot apprentice for cheap as well, I believe. And yeah, he has mid and elite for cheap if you want that. This is definitely one of the best wide receivers in the game. I've been enjoying him a lot. I actually don't play him in the slots because I don't really use slot matic or slot apprentice right now. I've been just using short elite on, on the outside. I love him there. I do love him there. He's definitely a must have in the game right now. I 100% think you guys should have Michael Crabtree right now. Uh, not that expensive for a card that overall as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. I will have a Cavante Turpin gameplay coming out later today. So I hope you guys are ready and excited for that one. I don't know how I'm going to utilize him. I kind of don't want to use a normal wide receiver gameplay. Kind of want to be different and crazy with it. Maybe some jet sweeps. I want to get him on that punt return team too because that's how I know he earned that wide receiver card. But we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys.